The Stoughton High boys tennis team finished with four wins last season, and the Black Knights aim to double that total this spring and perhaps even contend for a postseason berth. Last season's captains, Eric Anderson and Hassan Khan, both return. Anderson was an honorable mention on the Hockamock All-Star team last year. Stoughton also has big expectations for a pair of young singles players. Sophomore Wasim Sablan, who made the All-Star team as a freshman, and Anish Sinha, who is expected to be this year's standout freshman. We caught up with the coach, Anthony Perry, as well as both captains to preview this upcoming season. We're trying to make the tournament, so we're trying to, we got five wins last year. We want to get to the tournament this year, so I think it's doable. And if we win the matches, we're supposed to win and grab a few wins, so we can definitely make a tournament run. We're uh, looking to get like seven to nine wins maybe we can see ourselves getting. A lot of the teams have, have a lot of people graduated, so it's a lot of differences. And we kept everybody and added some new people. They're sort of lofty expectations, but I think at this point, based on what we did last year, what we have coming back, uh, based on what I've seen in some kids improving over the off season, I think we can get eight definitely and maybe a ninth win, yeah. Two senior leaders, uh, they've been captains for a couple seasons now. Uh, they've played pretty much from day one. I mean, Hassan got into, he cracked the lineup as a sophomore. Uh, he pretty much played doubles, first and second doubles for me the past couple years. He's now playing first doubles. He, he's got really great chemistry with uh, another senior, LJ Ferrandes, on the team. And Eric Anderson, I can't say enough about him. I mean, he, he uh, is a senior captain. He's been a captain the last couple years. Um, he came over, he transitioned from baseball. I was lucky enough to get him as a sophomore, and he started to get into the lineup as a doubles, predominantly singles player as a sophomore. So um, he went right from baseball into tennis, and he was able to pick it up pretty fast. Key players, uh, our first singles, uh, our, yeah, Wasim Sablon. Uh, he's now a sophomore. Last year he got 12 out of 16 wins, and uh, we're looking for him to uh, keep that win rate up. We have a freshman, Anish Senha. He's a great fr freshman. Um, he would come to a lot of our practices. Last year we had the first two weeks of the season indoors because of the weather, and I invited Anish as an eighth grader to come watch, participate a little bit in practices. Um, he really enjoyed it. He showed up all the time. We have a new uh, third singles freshman, Anish Sinha. He's new to the team, and uh, he got his first win yesterday at Alvarez, so we're looking forward to having him get a few varsity wins. And also Wasim Sablan, who was with us last year, is our number one player. He got a Hawk All-Star last year and is back with us this year. Wasim Sablan, 10th uh, grader. Um, he played last year number one singles for us as a freshman. He ended up making uh, Hockamock League All-Star, was voted unanimously uh, from all the Hockamock League coaches. He ended up making Brockton Enterprise All-Scholastic team, and he made the, the tournament as far as the states for singles at Newton North last year. Uh, doubles, we have Hassan Khan and LJ Ferrandes, and they're uh, playing first doubles. They should get a few wins. They're both very good players, very, know the game very well, and they should grab a few wins. As far as uh, our second doubles team this year, I've seen a lot of improvement in Brendan Buckley. He's a junior. He's playing second doubles, and he's going to be partnered up most likely with um, Jacob Kang, another junior. They're really working on their chemistry together. The big thing with doubles is communication, and they seem to be able to do that pretty effectively. We're practicing in uh, Sharon at the Deborah Sampson court, so that's kind of tough because we have to take the bus every day, but we make do and we, we get everyone on the bus and make sure everyone's here. We haven't had a day where one person hasn't been here. We've had everyone here every day, so it's been good. And then we play our home matches at Sharon High School. So we're relocated, but we just have to deal with it. It's something that comes with the high school. So this, These courts work out well for us. Sharon's 
they've, they've Sharon, they, they've been great. Park and Rec's been great here, and you know we share the courts with the community. We'll at least get two courts. You know, with 12 guys, that's fine. We can manage. You know, and it works out well for us. I mean, they're nice enough to let us use these courts, and I mean they're in great condition. So.